had a fairly good recovery. Certainly the first nine months to a year of that was a, a gradual progression towards now relatively normal fitness. I play golf, I run, I walk. All of those things came to an abrupt end for quite some time and it's only now three years later that I've actually got back on skis again. My knowledge of deep vein thrombosis before it was actually diagnosed was um, sketchy to say the least. At no time was I told in the hospital that this was a risk factor. I was on rivaroxaban, which is an anticoagulant, um, for the next three months anyway, and I took it religiously, because if once you've had a DVT, there, there is always a risk of another one. So if I was to go back into hospital again, um, I would certainly be asking um, what the risks are of a repeated deep vein thrombosis. The problem of having, having had one before, um, should, should I have take additional um, precautions. If a health professional thinks you might have a blood clot, they usually go through a scoring system called the Wells scoring system and do a blood test called a D-dimer. And if they confirm that you're at risk, then you will go through and have imaging done and most cases it's ultrasound, Doppler ultrasound, and that will find uh, the clot in your vein 99% of the time. Once the diagnosis is made, then the treatment is anticoagulation. The anticoagulation is designed to stop the clot from growing. And usually these days we use new tablets called direct oral anticoagulants. You start them that day and they thin the blood straight away. We also can use heparin injections as well and we have the old fashioned warfarin. And you can expect to be on anticoagulation for three months in the first instance. As most of clots are provoked, probably from hospital admission, we just continue for three months and we stop. But if it's unprovoked and we're not sure of your future risk of having another clot or you've got an underlying sticky blood condition, we might leave anticoagulation over the next few years.